Determining which tractor to pick can be tiring and complicated. With hundreds, even thousands of different tractors to choose from, where do you even start looking? Well, Yanmar is a great place to start, especially if you have a dealer near you. Yanmar is a privately owned Japanese company whose history in the tractor space dates all the way back to the 1920s. Yanmar is considered a top quality brand in every single industry they design products for, but one thing I really enjoy about the tractors they make is how simple it is to find the right model for your particular needs. Because unlike other tractor brands, Yanmar has a relatively small lineup of tractors. In this video, we are going to be comparing two of their most popular tractors sold in the US the YM3 series and the YT3 series. At face value, these tractors share a lot of similarities. So why are the prices so different? Now, just in case you were wondering, I am shooting this video in a new facility that Tractor Bob's has opened up in Gainesville. We will be migrating our studio to this space, so don't mind some of the noise in the background. That's just some construction going on. Subscribe to the Tractor Bob YouTube channel for more content like this, and let's get started. Starting with the powertrain, the YM series and YT series have a couple of key differences. We can see that the Yanmar YM3 features a gear drive, while the YT3 series has an IHMT transmission, also known as a hydromechanical variable transmission, which is essentially a gear drive transmission and hydrostatic transmission combined. If you are interested in learning more about this transmission, check out my video on the YT3 series tractors by Yanmar linked in the description down below. You'll also see that thumbnail pop up on the screen at the end of this video. Now, another key difference is that the YT3 series comes in two engine sizes, a 47 horsepower and 59 horsepower, while the YM series comes with an additional 42 horsepower engine option. As far as the engine models go, we can see that the engine on the YM342 and YM347 is the same as the engine on the YT347, and the engine on the YM359 is the same as the engine on the YT359. The final key difference with the powertrain we can find in the PTO. Not only does the YM series have less PTO horsepower than the YT series, but the YT series actually has a boost in PTO horsepower at working speed. That's because the IHMT on the YT3 series can independently set the ground speed and engine speed. This means that the YT3 tractors are better suited for heavier PTO work than the YM series. For the vast majority of people, having a bit less PTO power won't be an issue. But for those of you who are using your tractor for more commercial applications, the YT series might be the way to go. If you were thinking that spending more money will get you more lift capacity, think again. Both the YM and YT series share very similar specifications in the lifting category. While the loaders are technically different models, they perform nearly identically. I think the main difference between the loader types is that the YT series has an auto lowering kickstand for taking off the loader, while the YM series has kickstands that you have to manually unpin. Other than that, both the tractors have a lift height of 113 inches with a dump clearance of 88 inches, the max loader lift capacity is 2,500 pounds with a breakout force of 3,046 pounds. On the three point, the YM is actually able to hook up to a Cat 1 and Cat 2 attachments, while the YT comes standard with a Cat 1 compatibility. The three point lift for the tractors 24 inches behind is the same at 2,750 pounds, while the lift capacity at the lower links is different with the YM series rated at 3,190 pounds and the YT series at 3,300 seven pounds, which is only a 117 pound difference. Finally, the implement hydraulic flow is also slightly different with the YM at 9.3 GPM and the YT at 10.1 gallons per minute. Other than the transmission, we can see that up until this point in the video, the YM and the YT series tractors share a whole lot in common. However, Features is where the YT series truly shines over the YM series. Now, for some people, this might not be a big deal, but some of you will desperately need the extra features on the YT series. One major difference is that the YT has an optional cab, while the YM only comes as an open station. Both tractors do have backhoe attachments. The backhoes will perform almost identically, with the YT series backhoe being slightly better when it comes to digging force. 
and digging depth. Both tractors feature four wheel drive, rear diff lock, three ranges, a shuttle shifter, and an overall ergonomic layout and design for the operator. The YM series has more economical design features like the loader joystick positioning and of course, the fact that it's a gear drive transmission. On the YT3 series, the tractor feels a lot more premium with the loader joystick being positioned right next to the armrest with an integrated buttons for the throttle boost and AB mode, both of which put more power at your fingertips. There are other advanced controls on the YT series that you won't find on the YM or any other tractor in this size for that matter. AB mode and throttle boost, which we already covered, you also have electronic cruise control, two additional third function valves with control levers that are nicely integrated into the tractor and a nice digital display that allows you to customize ground speed and engine speed independently. Most of those features are a pretty big deal, but there are plenty of other smaller features that make the YT series preferable over the YM, like the more spacious and flat floorboard area or the nice nicely integrated step, which is a small but nice touch to the overall design. One thing that the YM series has that the YT series does not is a series of cup holders and storage cubbies on the driver's left-hand side. Now, the YT does have a cup holder on the right-hand side, which the YM doesn't, but I think it's very interesting that the YM comes with this additional feature while the YT doesn't, because this component could fit easily on the YT series and you can even buy it as an additional upgrade for the YT. It's just strange because the tractor is not only more expensive, but it doesn't have this little plastic component that gives you a couple more components to put things in. One other very interesting difference that we can see is the rear axle. The YM series has a straight shaft axle while the YT series has an offset rear axle. The YT series offset rear axle puts more power towards the wheels and gives you slightly more ground clearance as well. I go in slightly more depth on the benefits of this type of offset rear axle on the YT in that video that I posted just a few months ago on this specific tractor. So check that video out. But what you wanna know is that no other tractors at this size will have this rear axle other than the Yanmar YT3 series, making it one more very unique component in addition to the IHMT transmission that really sets this particular tractor above others in this category. Now for the price differences between the two tractors. Keep in mind that prices are subject to change depending on when you are watching this video. Also, the price I have listed is the minimum allowable advertising price, and you will be able to receive extra discounts, some quite substantial, when you give us a call at Tractor Bob's or by visiting your nearest Yanmar dealer. All right, here's a breakdown of the pricing for the YM series and the YT series. As you can see, the YT series is nearly $10,000 more expensive than the YM series. Now, I believe every single extra dollar spent on the YT is worth it because of the advanced controls allowing you to harness the full power and fuel efficiency of your tractor. Thank you so much for watching this video on the differences between the YT series and the YM series. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. That really helps us out a lot. Hit that subscribe button to see more content like this and tap the bell icon to stay notified. Have a great day.